Anyway, welcome back to Dan's a lot of tap. I'm back. That's right. I am really here. My face really here. I have quit my job that I was doing. Uh, if anyone was interested in what I was doing, I was a uh, head detailer, supervisor uh, for a prestige car company, um, like a private car company. Uh, don't want to get into too many details, obviously I don't want to start bad mouthing anybody, but um, the job basically didn't turn out to what turned out to be what I expected it to be, to what I was told it would be. Um, then when I said that I was going to resign, they offered me kind of a promotion to basically run their second uh, company um, which all sounded really really good and everything but the further down the line I got to doing it there was a lot of things that me and the owner disagreed on uh, for better or worse on either side I say I'm not going to bad mouth anybody I might have been in the wrong he might have been in the wrong um, but the deal breaker was he wanted me to do the equivalent of uh, four people's jobs and take a pay cut um, and stupidly unrealistic on target earnings. So yeah, I ended up leaving, so I'm back at reselling, so this is where we are. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run through, well, I'm not gonna run through, I'm gonna play through the uh, the boot sale that I went to on Sunday, I went to Strawberry Fields, a um, little bit rusty, I forgot to take my backpack with me, uh, so I ended up having to clip my GoPro on my little man bag. It's not the best setup in the world when I walk, it kind of does this. So um, there won't be tons and tons of uh, footage, uh, unfortunately. I will, when I next go to another boot sale, because I don't know how frequent they're gonna be at the moment, because I'm literally starting from the bottom up again. This is not the best way to start a full-time reseller business. Um, I literally have no income now. So, you know, this is gonna be how quick I can get myself back up and going again. It's gonna be an interesting journey. We're gonna find out whether in a couple of weeks time I'm like, I've gotta go and get another job again or whether I'm gonna be starting to boom again. You never really know. Um, but yeah, what I'm trying to do at the moment is not, not be too, what's the correct word? Not just jump into everything that I see, be a bit more particular with what I pick up um, to start off with. I know some people might be going, well, that's kind of counterproductive because you want to be trying to just get as much as you can to get the ball rolling, but I'm not in a position where I can sit on stock, so I will try and get stock in that's good and get it gone relatively quick. <laughs> some people are not going to like that because I'm probably going to start undercutting a lot of people, but I need to get the ball rolling, so anybody that's watching this, this is then going to go, oh, you're ruining reselling. You have to appreciate that I need to pay my bills, so, you know. Um, anyway, I'll let run through now what footage that I did get, and then we'll come back and I'll show you everything I got, because I think there's some things that I didn't get in the footage. Um, yeah, as I say, it's been a while since I've been, it's been a few months. Um, my, so, I'm a little bit rusty with uh, my recording and my GoPro charger said that all my batteries were charged, and then when I got there, they were all pretty basically dead, so. I wouldn't have got much footage anyway, so this is why we've got this video here. So anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling on, let's get into that footage, and then I'll meet you back here and show you everything I got. on this place, mate. You do it for three? Yeah. Can I have a look at that one? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Of 
Ducky, come on. Ducky. Looks about. Which one's that? Uh, fiber. Yeah, go on, I'll take that for a fiber. How much you got for that as well? Uh, another fiver. Oh. Yeah. Oh, no, that's oh, yours. I'll take that. There you go. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, go on, I'll take a risk at a fiver. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, Paul Cliff. How much you got for that? Three. Sorry. How much for that? Three. <laughs> Do it for two? Um, no, it's worth three because it's champion. Oh. Mm. Go on then. No, five all together. Here's your. Thank you. How much for them as well? Do ten for the pair of them. So them, that, and this. Yeah. Not really. No. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> How much for your game down here? Three quid for that one, mate. Do you know if it's all complete? Yeah, it's all done. Right, okay, so I hope you enjoyed that, of what footage that you did see. As I say, I'm probably gonna trim it down quite a lot. You'll probably see the things I picked up, or most of the things that I picked up. There probably won't be much in between footage, because as I say, dude, I don't know how well some of the footage is gonna come out. Next video, be better, I promise. Right, so anyway, to start off with, um, when I was reselling last time, um, I decided that I wasn't gonna be picking up uh, video machines unless they were going to be the higher end ones but um, I can't ignore the fact that how well video machines sell uh, so I paid £3 for this one it looks pretty clean inside it smells like it's been in storage for a while so oh, it's going to be a bit of a 50-50 on whether it works or not but for £3 I was willing to take the chance to move my phone that way so I can put stuff over there um, hopefully you can kind of see things blinding myself with a light uh, but yeah it's a, um, a Matsui um, VP9605 it's probably about £25 um, again it's, it's a bit of a bigger item to only be getting £25 but the quicker I can get my uh, my store rolling the better because <laughs> obviously at the moment there's no point me actually having a shop running um, if I haven't got enough items to warrant the price so I'm currently just um, just on my business sellers account there's no actual storefront at the moment uh, so the next thing I picked up uh, atmosphere this is uh, the hard new hardeningers um, again uh, the, the seller said that it was complete uh, it looks pretty complete but obviously I'll have to double check it but um, these bigger ones, they're still fetching sort of 25, maybe 30. You can get sort of like 40, 50 if they're still sealed. But probably about 20 pound. Be careful with games like these because they're quite heavy. So make sure you appropriately price things if you get them. Um, I, f I don't know about Amazon, um, but they used to do quite well on Amazon, so I'm told, because I've actually not delved into Amazon yet. But um, yeah, paid a couple of quid for it, and yeah, probably about, again, 20 to 25. Um, I think this was in the video, it's just, it's nothing special, it's just a, uh, a women's, um, or a small men's champion embroidered hoodie with like a nice sort of vintage fade on it, I think it's on an older tag. Um, don't really know too much about champion tags and stuff, but it's on like a, an old looking tag. But again, that should be uh, 15 to 20. I think I paid three pound for it. Uh, 
This one was quite nice. Um, I spent a lot of time looking over it because I wasn't too worried about it actually being fake. Um, it had a lot of telltale signs that it was real. But um, it's a barber wax coat. Now what I was looking for was uh, websites because I had a feeling it's probably like a um, a 90s, early 90s, maybe late 80s, and I wanted to make sure there was no tag, um, no internet um, markings and stuff on it. It's a good way to tell that it's pre-internet, so it's probably pre-2000s, um, but it's got that older sort of feel to it. And I paid up a bit for it, it's 35 pounds. Some people might go, oh, it's a lot of money to pay up for a barber wax coat. But I think there's about 70 to 80 pound, maybe a little bit more in that. Um, so hopefully that was a good buy. Uh, along with that Champion um, hoodie, I think it was the same seller, I got these uh, super dry sunglasses. Um, she said that she's uh, she's never worn them, or she wore them once, and they're not really her style. A fella bought them for her. Um, and I think I paid 10 quid for that and the, the hoodie. Um, they're all right, I believe they're, they're legit, they pretty much look, look all good. Uh, they had a retail price of £50, but save £8.35, so £41.65. Still got his pouch, um, still got his like, little instruction, I don't know why you'd need instruction manual for uh, sunglasses, but there's an instruction manual in there. And having a look, uh, brand new, they're about, they're selling for about £45 on eBay, so Again, I'll probably look for about 30 on them. Um, they owe me technically seven quid, so that's not bad. Um, a little fail. I, um, again, I don't know if it'll be in the video, but I bought these uh, cassettes. I thought they might have been like old um, Amiga games, but then sort of I got home and thought to myself, no Amiga or floppy disks are cassette tapes, and, and these they turn out that they're uh, they're old 1980s audio books. Uh, there's not really much value in them. There's like a Star Trek one, um, Challenge of the Go Bots, which I think is like a Transformers knockoff. Um, yeah, I'll probably just keep them as like tester audio because uh, what I was actually more interested in in the end when I picked them up was this. Um, I've sold one of these in the past, but mine was a dual deck. And it uh, it was in not working condition. Well, it worked, but the tape uh, players weren't working. Probably the bands and stuff were gone in them. But um, I sold that for like eighty odd pounds. Uh, I had a look online, and uh, someone has did sell one of these in red for uh, I think it was forty pound. But um, there is someone with one that's silver at the moment. And they're asking sixty five for it. Uh, I think the red one will sell better and there is no other red ones on there so um, depending on how the condition is it looks pretty clean I got a feeling the tape deck probably won't work but the rest of it is pretty clean and stuff um, if the tape deck works I'll probably put it up for about 70 80 if it doesn't I'll probably put it up for about 50 and I reckon it'll go for that uh, so I think I paid 15 for that and the cassettes so basically I'm gonna write the cassettes off and say that this cost me 15 quid um, again, I don't know if you saw these in the video, it might have been after my GoPro finished dying. Um, just a pair of Nike Air Max. Uh, they're not in amazing condition, there's like some fraying and stuff going on on the edge. But um, I had a look and it doesn't appear to have gone through, it's just fraying so I could just sort of tidy them up. Give them a good old clean. I paid two pound for them, and as I say, they're not in amazing condition. But I still reckon I could get twenty five for them um, if they were in better condition. I reckon probably about probably could have pushed for about thirty five forty. But the bubbles are are still good. They're not they're nice and firm and stuff, which is a, a good sign. So yeah, it's just the cosmetic condition's not great on them. But I think yeah, it'll be all right. So. Yeah, I'd, I'd say comfortably £25 for them. I think if I put them up for 25 quid, they wouldn't stay up for long. Uh, right, again, another gamble that I took. Again, I can't remember if it was on video or not. But um, I bought this box of um, Pro Set football cards. 
I don't want to get them all out, but basically it's there. there's a few hundred, maybe even like a thousand or so cards in there, all from sort of like the late 80s, early 90s. Uh, I paid three pound for the whole tub, and I was sort of like, oh, it's a bit of a gamble. I was going through them to see if there was anything interested in there. Uh, and then I came across all of these, so I don't know whether you can see that. I might not be focusing in. Um, but basically there's a load of Southampton player cards that have all been signed. Um, so I need to do some research to see if the signatures are legit, but um, they could be worth a little bit. Uh, so we've got Matt Letizia, there's another Matt Letizia, uh Bradley Wright Phillips, uh, David Purton, who's that one? Jason Dodd, uh, who we got there? Ian Dowie, uh, Rudy Sakel, Mark Skaganowski, <laughs> some of these names, Indigo Indiquez, Wayne Bridge, oh yeah, well, good old Wayne Bridge. Um, Tim Flowers, yeah, I know Tim Flowers. Uh, Francis Bellini, uh, Neil Ruddock, well, everyone knows Neil Ruddock, don't they? Uh, Gordon Watson, uh, who's this? Uh, Richard Hall, oh, dog's back. Uh, Marion Phillips and uh, Neil Shepherdley. Anyway, so finished with the family interruptions. Um, next thing I picked up, I paid uh, £2 for it. Um, it is an Olympus Mew. But it's a Mew 3. Now, the Mew 1 and the Mew 2 are the ones that hold the decent value. The Mew 3 still holds some good value. You're still talking about £60 to £80. Pound, but... Um, it's not a Mew 1 or a Mew 2, but it's the first Mew that I've actually found since I've been doing reselling, and I've been reselling since 2018. So, it's taken me four years to find one. Um, I'll, I can't test it because the battery is a, a CR2 battery. I did have, a, I have got batteries for testing these, but this is an even smaller one, but it's so incredibly clean that I reckon it'll probably work fine. There was a battery in it, there was no corrosion or anything, but it wouldn't turn on, so I assume the battery's dead. So I've ordered the batteries. Cost me more than the camera did. Uh, the battery cost me three pound. Um, but yeah, hopefully if it works, I should be talking about 60 to 80 pound for that one. Uh, again, this was another cool thing. So this is a Amstrad notepad. Um, paid five pound for it. Uh, unfortunately it doesn't seem to work properly, it powers on and everything but the screen's all pixelated and stuff. If it was in working condition I could have been looking at about 90 to £100, pound. Um, but one did sell for spares and repairs on bids for I think about £29, pound. so I think what I might do is I'll put it up for about 40 quid spares and repairs. So this does power on, um, and someone might be able to fix it, the collector might still be interested in it. So it's in really clean condition and stuff. Um, and I say it does power on, but it's just a shame. But yeah, paid five pound. Um, and yeah, could be a bit of a bolo. Could be one to definitely look out for in the future. Amstrad stuff normally does sell quite well, like their vintage stuff. Back in the day, it was rubbish. But uh, there's quite a collector's market for it these days. And then the final thing I got from the same store, again, I paid five pound, is a Sony mini disc player. Uh, this is the uh, MZR70. Uh, there is one on for sale at the moment for £300. I'm not getting £300 for this, so as I think that person's got that out for £300 as being a bit unrealistic. Uh, this one is in, it's in used condition. Um, there's a lot of discoloration and stuff around the battery, like the colouring sort of come away. The battery cover, even though it shuts and stuff, the little clip that it hooks on has, has come off. It hasn't snapped, it's come off, um, but I don't want to mess around and snap it. But uh, it does work, I've tested it. Uh, 
it's just not in the best of condition and then it's got the person's address sticky label on it so I need to clean that off but yeah um, I'll probably stick it up for about 60 to be realistic because of the condition uh, the back and forward button the forward skip button it doesn't appear to work um, it presses but it doesn't seem to function but you can skip songs and stuff with the top buttons up there so I don't know whether that's just like a, a skip through the song like uh, fast forward rewind um, but yeah everything else and it seems to work so yeah five pounds probably into 60 and uh, yeah that was everything I got as I said I tried to be a little bit conservative with what I um, bought and at the moment I kind of want things that will just turn around quickly I don't want stuff just sitting around on the store for too long if I can help it I mean the Amstrad thing's probably gonna take a little while to sell oh I'm gonna buy it myself Ugh. but um, I think I, in general most of it will sell pretty quickly and we didn't spend massive amounts oh, 10 25 uh, 30 40 50 about 70 70 80 pound which is not bad and we should hopefully return around about 20 40 55 60 70 80 140 180 240 about 300 pounds and that's not taken into the uh, the cards because obviously I've got to do some research and then they might be worth <coughs> sorry they might be worth nothing they might be worth a lot so we'll have to wait and find out but yeah for a first um, boot sale back it wasn't too bad uh, not too sure what one I'll go to next if I've got any money from sales and stuff but uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you uh, you're happy that I'm back and if it's your first time here don't forget to click the uh, subscribe button down the bottom and do the bell at the top is the bell up the top no the bells at the bottom <laughs> to be notified every time I upload a new video and I'll catch you in the next one see you later